Hey there everyone, this is Rao Kao playing the second Reality Project 2. Probably on the winning stretch, I don't know, but there's a warp zone which is like the star zone, only it's called warp zone. Holy cow! It's like Labu is huge! He really did get big and he got a sign planted on his forehead. That That's kind of... ouchy. So let's go to Starlight Road. Starlight Road. It's a road made of starlight. And there's ladybugs and stars and blocks with little pimento peppers there and point of advice don't touch the blocks with the red mood on it they will hurt you I'm going to test it okay so pimento too hot for Mario and you dare call yourself an Italian and uh, okay so you step on a star which are what the hell is that whoa there so yeah y you're allowed to st touch on a star which are blazing gi giant balls of fire, but you may not touch the moons, which are inert rock. I can dig that logic. Whoa, since when am I so stickly about my power-ups, anyway? Am I feeling fear? Are you fearful, Rao Cow? Rao Cow? God, spell it, <laughs> spell it for real. Don't spell it like these peons who don't know how, how to pronounce English. I mean French. The, the only real language in the world. Oh yeah, I went there. I went there. I went there. I'm not sure where that is. Um, I hope there's a lot of food there, because food is essential for survival. That, that's a tip. I, I, everyone out there, if you if you ever need to survive, whoa! Th th what the hell? What the hell's going on? I'm overstimulated. Whoa! What the hell is going on? I'm overstimulated. Okay, so. Oh, so these guys are. Oh man, I I, I missed a pimento pepper there. Whoa, so... So I guess the... this kind of pack turd is like a shell. Some of them are like bullet bills. Some of them in past levels were like moles. This is getting complex. There are many sub of pack turds. Whoops. Now apparently, according to the readme file, all these weird-ass nonsensical things come from this game called Alfred Chicken. My only encounter with that game was uh, a video in the Virgin LP thread. So, um... Yeah. Yeah. So we're still in the Starlit Road. It's a road that is lit by the stars, but it was also paved by starlight. I, I guess this was commissioned by the Care Bears. No, no, they, they built things out of rainbows. Th they used water droplets. Uh, I wouldn't want to drive their roads in winter. Although their car floated, so they didn't care. What am I talking about? Care Bears. That's what I'm talking about. They were responsible for my education. Hello there, flying saucer thingies with a little face. That's the best, most accurate description I can give. And my names I always give are essentially descriptions. How else would I come up with gems like Wizard Guy? Football Charlie. Classics. Whoa, of Shakespearean nature. I'm... I'm sad to see that you don't agree there, little snail dude, but sometimes you need to face the facts. Things. Ooh, the music change. That's because they're fun-filled cranberry juice in the floor. But by in, I mean out. What the hell am I... Whoa, this is the moving platform, and... Those pikes are dormant. They have not awakened their full potential. Because I'm an intelligent player, I'm gonna wait until he's down. Then he's gonna be like, Ha! You you are still asleep at the switch, while I was hit, hit by, whoa, one of more, your more awakened compatriots. Um, I did not expect my emergency raft there to sink into the lava. I figured, you know, God damn it, it's a raft. Raft can fly. What kind of game is this? So this is the part where I make a judgment mistake. It happens to the best of us. Even if we do it twice. At the same time. At the same place. At the main same station. I I it's what makes the best of us the best of us. We just don't ever learn. Hop. Whoa, hop. That, 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 whoa, that, that's been a while since I've been that. Usually I, I say that when I'm decontracted and full of happiness. 
Am I happy? I, I don't want to feel happy. I'm end like this thread. Thread may may end at this very night. Uh, you probably know it more than I do. This is only the midpoint. God damn it! This is this stage is huge. Lasts forever. And now we're underwater. Ladybugs can't live underwater. What is this? Oh, oh oops. <laughs> what is this madness? Ladybugs die when you drown them in, in water. I know that's hard to grasp, but... Okay, so I guess that spiky ball is a rehash of the berserker fish. Instead, he's a homing spike ball. It kind of makes just as much sense. Holy shit. Whoops, that one's a bouncy one. They're kind of impossible to distinguish one from the other. Here, there's a lot of pimento peppers. I guess we're in Zyklobu's... Whoops. Oh, come on! Oh man, as I was saying, I guess this is where he, he th this is where he keeps his, his, his food, it's his food closet. Remember how I said ghosts eat? No, they drink fire. Well, they like to, to eat pretty spicy too. I'm gonna use this ladybug as a flotation device. Ho, oh, eat! Ladybug meat, I guess. I don't think it's very rich in much neutral statement, but you're a spiky ball. You don't even have internal organs. And that is a fact. You can trust. So this, okay, so, um, hmm. Oh, they're a bit different, I guess, <laughs> if you have the time to really look at them or something. But, uh, yeah, this is getting kind of tiresome. It's essentially... Avoid the thingies while swimming. Which kind of sums up every single water level in the history of Super Mario Brothers when you think about it. Unless you just so happen to have a cape or a flower. Both and the natural predators of the underwater obstacle. Um, oh, come on! Come on, that, that, that was pure cheating, unfiltered, and unsafe public consummation. <clears throat> Come on now, this is the last level, well, last world or something. No reasons for this to be hard. <laughs> yeah, I I'm a big vat full of logic. Okay, um, pow cow? Come on, you're a better player than that. Now this place is kind of tricky. You need to swim. Swimming is kind of hard. Or kind of easy. It totally depends on who you ask. Okay, that spike ball there, it, it, no. I deny your existence. Thank you for understanding. Ha, huh. I sure killed that inanimate object. I sure did. So that's a door that I managed to open and close, even though it's on the, I'm in space. Mario cannot live in space. He's a human. He's real! He he... he, he uh, and apparently, he is not affected by lack of gravity. Unlike the little star blocks. Should probably save state more often, unless you want me, and absolutely insist, that I keep jumping up these one blocks, separated by nothing, and sometimes orbiting fireballs, called Lil Spark. It's little and not little. When I was a little lad, it was a point of confusion because I only learned English by listening to other kids that spoke English in my neighborhood. And possibly TV. Yeah, TV probably had a bigger impact on my knowledge and education and educational knowledge. Yeah, well, screw you. Oh, yeah. I can be quite... I can have a, a forked t tongue when it needs. Come on. Come on. No. You big me. Ah. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Blah. Come on. Whoa. E. Um. Hmm. Maybe if I, if I use him as an... Ah. Uh, yeah. Had it combusted. Com wow, th that's not English, but who cares? Trampoline. Mm, yo ho ho. Up. 
Up. Yeah. Up. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. We're approaching a star base of some kind. Um. What's with FBI production and last level being star bases? That sounds like a Seinfeld opening statement, but I don't have any follow ups. Other than control is kind of finicky. I'm not pressing anything, and he's stepping it around like an idiot. So, how's it going, guy? Falling apart, huh? I, I'm sad to hear that. Oh, yeah, this is like a graphic rip from the first TSRP. Now, that was unexpected. Although, the starlight, the star shrine, the starscape, there, said it, is kind of nice. Ooh, other scrolling place. This level is huge! And those are boos. I don't know if you've met them yet. They're ghosts. And they're... Oh yeah, this is TSRP1 all over again. What, with the little boo... No, boo, the bullets. The bullet bills. Going out of these little circle things. Um... French, I'd call them Hublot, but I'm not sure what's that in English. You know, it's like a specific name for those round windows and, and boats and subs and... Do subs have windows? I don't know. Honestly, who gives a care? Yay! A celebratory spin dash. On oh, a spin dash. Oh yeah, it's a secret technique invented by uh, by Nintendo, but they never use it in their game ever at all. So um. So how's it going, Mario? Are you tired at all after this voyage? <laughs> kind of jumping on platforms that are slowly scrolling and avoiding one whole enemy in the screen? <gasps> Another enemy in the entire screen! Holy cow! That's like a few seconds without enemies. I am beside myself. What the hell? What, what is, is this Cyclobo's vagina? I don't like where this is going. Why am I going inside the ghost? It's... I feel unclean. I don't like where this is going, guys. But, uh... Wow! <laughs> Zyklobu! So, uh, this was Raokao playing the Secondary Eye Project 2. We're kind of clearly on a home stretch here. Join me next time when we go in Zyklobu's lumbar area.